you know, we've gotten a bunch of movies um, that have come out. And I did watch, Bobby, your whole review of Beetlejuice. Sorry I didn't, you know, thumbs up you or, or drop a comment. Oh, I will. you were the one. I w- <laughs> no, I but haven't we- seen your review yet. We posted it like a few hours ago. So. Oh, okay. Yeah, That's I haven't either. I haven't um, it, yeah. I've been out and about running around, and me and my wife like to watch them together. So we'll yeah, do nice. that oh, later tonight. Nice. Well, don't worry. You'll get you'll get my opinions, and they'll be <laughs> massive. Yeah, you're gonna spoil your spoiler <laughs> oh, review. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, so Kyle, I actually uh, I'm gonna do a video suge- with your suggestion because mm-hmm. I had never seen Beetlejuice until Saturday night, uh, and then right. the original. And then mm-hmm. me and my girlfriend saw it on Tuesday. And so it was like kind of back to back. And I do have some I, something that Hardcut hasn't mentioned. But uh, my biggest complaint, uh, just watching them back to back, was how, and I, fine, like we're in 2024. They're not going to fucking do uh, anything in film. But it was very jarring to go from Beetlejuice uh, to Beetlejuice 2, mm-hmm. just visually. Um, it, it was just filmed uh, digitally, clearly. Um, and the the special effects, like, it try, it, it was modern CGI that tried to be shitty. Uh, and it, it didn't, yeah. it, that didn't We touched follow. on that, like, a little bit. Because, you know, we end up trimming a lot of, like, the fat out of our reviews. But yeah. um, the with the original Beetlejuice, like, they purposely tried to make the special effects look cheesy right that was part of what they tried to do back then this when when they bring in the cgi it's like okay bad cgi just looks really bad and you could tell like they're not trying to make it look bad anymore they're trying to make it look good but it just doesn't translate can someone answer this question for me sorry to interrupt bobby it's on topic though the claymation is that Mm -hmm. real claymation or is it cgi pretending to be claymation in the new look cgi in in beetlejuice 2 I mean, I think they claim that it's real claymation, it but, real, but... I, I don't know how far the claymation technology has come in 36 mm. years, but right. it, did yeah. look, it did look a little too glossy. You know? Yeah, 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 yeah. But, and it, uh, for me, the, for the aesthetic sure. was was pretty jarring. Uh, given like what Beetlejuice was, it like the claymation part of it, it looked a lot like Wes Anderson to me. Yeah. I don't know. If- Which I'm fine with. I actually prefer that Wes Anderson. I, I, I don't like his live action movies, actually. I prefer his style in animation. Yeah. 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 I mean, the other thing, uh, you know, when I was watching the original on Saturday, that scene where I, and I forget the the name of the the song uh, where they, they're dancing around the dinner table. Um, it's like, Caribbean type the banana boat song yeah. or banana, yeah called? exactly so Deo. I yeah, when, when I was watching it I, I was telling my girlfriend like hey uh like the, it looks like they're having fun right like it yeah it's like every single one of them is just like the first one yeah 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 this is like <laughs> silly we're just having fun whereas this one where they busted out the song it seemed like it seemed like they're just at work and they're just going through the motions and it didn't have like that same charm and it, I didn't feel like they were having fun. Yeah, when mm-hmm. they're sitting around the table and like Jeffrey Jones just starts laughing and then he looks under the table like what's going on here and like it just feels like they're having fun. Yeah. Hey it Ian. Was, it was- I just want to say hey hi to Ian in the chat. Ah. We got our first chat. Let's see. Uh Ian Daylight come and me one go home. Yep. That's how I, felt <laughs> I didn't that, rewatch uh, the first uh, Yeah, I think we're on the same page this. here. <laughs> yeah. Um, and like you mentioned, Bobby, it's just too much shit going on on screen. Uh, too many plot lines. And you're totally right when you said there's too many cooks in the kitchen. Because it's like multiple plot lines, a lot of which go nowhere. Uh, you know, I was I was saying like, hey, what like what the hell was the point of Monica Bellucci? Like, yep. just, no, you could have completely removed her from the film and it wouldn't yeah. have changed anything. It wouldn't have changed a thing. Like, did Same she need Defoe. a paycheck? Like, Although he's really good. I, he's I really good. I think he's really role. good. In the, he, yeah. he is. He is one of the better parts of the film. It's mm-hmm. just Justin Theroux is pointless. Defoe. No, no, no. Uh, Defoe. Oh, Defoe. Defoe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, 
to me, it would have it would have been fine if it was just like the the dead kid. Oh, sorry, spoiler alert. Um, mm. The, it, the, the the dead kid and like nothing else. No, like that, that hey, storyline could have been. That was know, the only but... storyline that was it, coherent. Just, like, well, yeah. that got me actually interested in the story when right. that part was revealed, which I was already a little suspicious about stuff. Um, when that part was revealed, I'm like, oh, here we go. But that was like an hour into it. Yeah. Uh, up until then, I just I, I'm not a huge Beetlejuice fan. Uh, so and I didn't rewatch the first one in preparation for this. I feel like if I had, I probably would have noticed exactly what you did, Paul. Mm -hmm. But um, it just felt kind of more of the same with the first one to me. And I was like, well, I don't know if it's just because I'm not super crazy about the first one. This one's OK. Yeah. You know, I just eh, I didn't. But Monica Bellucci, I didn't realize um, probably the only reason she was in there is because, you know. Sex appeal. No, no, she's involved with Tim Burton. That's probably why she was in there. Oh, is that right? Well, you know? apparently they got that started on that set. Supposedly. Oh. So, well, yeah, I mean, I wouldn't say I'm 100% on that, but she I mean, hey, totally she looks fine. Place. She looks fine for yeah, a dead looks, woman. But it's like you said, she she just, like, they, yeah. built, they propped her character up to be like, she's going to be this big, huge menace, and it just felt just completely flat for me. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it didn't have any of the charm of the original. Because, like, the original, like, I was watching it, and I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Like, it just, it was so weird. And this had none of the same weirdness. Like, it just, it, it the whole thing felt phoned in. Well, in response to what Ian said in the chat about the ghost boy being the real villain, he was just this side character amongst many other yeah. e story and C storylines. Yeah. You know? So. Yeah. I mean, it just didn't have the strength and the weight of what it should have, you know? Yeah. Like the creative way they dealt with Jeffrey Jones not being there. <laughs> I'll give him that. I mean, I thought he was going to be written yeah. out entirely, so I'll give him that. They handled I, it I, in, yeah. a, in a well, delicate I actually, way. I actually had no idea in uh, in, in the movie theater uh, why Jeffrey Jones wasn't in it, and then we just, like, Googled it, and I'm like, oh, oh yeah, I found out about that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I wish they had been as creative with why the Maitlands weren't in it, beside the fact that Gina Davis and Alec Baldwin are just old. So it wouldn't right. make sense for them to age. You know, right. they, they were, you're able to get around it with Michael Keaton because he's wearing a ton of makeup. Well, right. one other difference, right. Bobby, is Gina Davis isn't a murderer. Um, that, that too. Which, <laughs> <laughs> What's the deal she with Alec, shot Alec Baldwin? Like, is he going to jail or like, or no, he's off. No, he's, he's off. thrown out. I think. Yeah. I think. Yeah. Got he's scot free. <laughs> as one might say. <laughs> right. Yeah. I mean, uh, what what did everybody think about Jenna Ortega? She's fine. She's fine. She's yeah, whatever. Fine. Just I I can do without her. She's just not unspectacular. I just come yeah. on. This is the she's, pickings she's not, of what we have great. for she's leading lady, a five foot was, two okay. little girl. Yeah, whatever. I, I I didn't see Wednesday. Was that any good? I didn't see it I either. Seen it it's either. okay. Bobby Maybe. will have to speak to that. Well, <laughs> I mean, I didn't watch all of it. Uh, yeah. Rosie watched the whole thing and she liked it a lot. So I watched the first few episodes and it was okay. Yeah. I mean, for me, the definitive Wednesday is uh, Christina Ricci. Oh, of course. But... They did some weird stuff with like um, uh, the parents. Mm -hmm. uh, um, uh, what who are the parents? Morticia and uh, Gomez. Gomez. Okay. Like the guy, they, uh, what's his name? Uh, who's the guy who they cast as Gomez? Um, I can't think of his name. Uh, he's been, he was in Boogie Nights. He was in he, a lot like, of stuff. He's been, a, you know who I'm talking about, right? Kyle? Yeah. He's in anger management. I think I remember yeah, him. Yeah, that yeah. He, was, the most. he was so weird as Gomez. And then I, I don't think I made it past the second episode. I was like, all right, mm -hmm. I'm done with this, but still, oh, so he doesn't do a great job in that. Oh no, he doesn't. Well, oh. not for the character. I don't think he was right for Gomez, mm -hmm. but I do I mean, like him as an actor. I mean, you can't hold a candle to uh Raul Julia. Oh, no, he's perfect in that role. Yeah, I mean, phenomenal. Uh, let's see. So Ian says, Lydia should have been a real estate agent who preserves old homes with ghosts, finds right people to own them. Thanks. That's an interesting take, actually. Yeah. 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 I mean, it at least would have been something. It would have made connected sense. To her. Yeah, because they, they introduced this angle in the beginning where she's got this show and she 
can talk to the ghosts of the people that she has on the show that own this home. And it's like, yeah, oh, this is an interesting angle. And it just goes nowhere. Just it goes nowhere. Talk. We don't see it until it comes back for her yeah. to say, I am no longer doing the show. Yeah, that's yeah. it. It's like, wh wh why is this so, why open the movie with this then? The only yeah. connection to that, which you didn't need, was that Justin Thoreau was her producer. Yeah. But you didn't need that because that's not how they met through television. It was through a trauma support. Yeah, group. he went to like some trauma support where he met her so he could like prey on weak people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, just By the way, and, and that's one thing that I think is the, the the biggest thing that annoyed me about the film is how just unsubtle the exposition is and how it, it's so heavy handed and explains shit that happens off screen yeah. and re-explains shit that we already know mm -hmm. that we've seen. Yeah. Speaking yeah. of, uh, Wonder Woman is making an appearance. <laughs> oh. I think That's a Sin. Loud ringtone. The ringtone went off. Yeah. Oh, is that what it was? Okay. It was, my, it was my ringtone. I forgot I, I had my ringtone on. <laughs> I, honestly, I thought it was something outside because I always oh. have like <laughs> random ass noise. And we could throw a Wonder Woman discussion in here. Why not? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> as great as Winona Ryder is, like, mm -hmm. she, like it didn't feel like she was playing Lydia. This, yeah, this, this, mm -hmm. absolutely. I totally yeah. agree with that. This was her expression I the whole time. Remember, was, I do yeah, remember, she, yeah, like her character oh. didn't have that same sort of goth spunk to her. Yeah. They even mention it in the dialogue. Catherine O'Hara says that. Yeah. yeah, I mean. You the, need to find that girl. Like, I felt like I was watching her in Stranger Things, not her yeah. in Beetlejuice. Right. Well said. I'm that's just, real. No, that's that's absolutely I true. Because she, she's she, manic in Stranger yeah, Things. Exactly. Yeah. And that's, yeah, she that's how she like came that across here. She wasn't attracted to Justin Throw at all. It's, they're like, no, okay, there was no I chemistry. Let's get married. We could, well, I guess I just right. got to do it. It's at like, least why, have why some aspects it? that show why she likes him. Yeah. There's he's no reason just for a, her to like him. He's a, a con man. Like, it's so yeah. obvious. He's very transparent. Yeah. Like Jenna yeah. Ortega sees through him in two seconds. Doesn't have a conversation just... with uh, her mother about why are you marrying this prick? Yeah. Like that's, yeah. that would be on point with her character to say something like that. Yeah. But she's more passive than she is critical about what's going on. Yeah. Yeah. The script is problematic. Yeah. I mean, there's just too much. There's way too much going on. You could have deleted Monica Bellucci. You could have deleted. And if you delete Monica Bellucci, then maybe you'd uh, delete Will Willem Dafoe. Um, you know, the uh, the ghost house thing. They really never. No, uh, there's sorry, no payoff with it. Show. There's, no, there's no payoff at all. Um, so, I, I mean, for me, that was like, why even bother having this? Uh, yeah. But it was just no. like, oh, what has she been up to in the past however many years? Like it could have been a very tight story if they had made the ghost boy like the main right. antagonist mm -hmm. because it, it it's literally the exact opposite of what happens in the first film where Lydia befriends the Maitlands and mm -hmm. the Maitlands are good people mm. whereas now her daughter does the same thing she befriends a ghost but this ghost is bad mm. you know they could right. have played with that it would have been like a nice counter to the first film and that that's your story mm. instead yeah. they just had all these ideas and they just crammed them all into one film. For me, Monica like Bellucci, that. yeah. For me, Monica Bellucci really, really had the same feel as uh, what the hell was her name? Lara Flynn Boyle in uh, what it what was that? Men in Black Two. No, what a pull there! That was that. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't thought of that in a while, <laughs> right? But I like, remember seeing it in the theater in O two. But yeah, Lara Flynn Boyle, man. I mean, it it, it just they, they they felt like the same thing, like. The original Men in Black didn't really need a sequel. This like the second one was pretty bad. I thought the third was okay, but uh, yeah, Lara Flynn Boyle's character in that movie it was just kind of like pointless. I, I, or I, rather, I remember it being pointless, just like Monica Bellucci. At least they had some. While well, we're comparing MIB two to Beetlejuice two, try <laughs> to say that really fast three times. Or, you know. <laughs> um, they had in Men in Black two in the events and in situations that were in the tone of the first Beetlejuice, which is what I call grotesque dark humor. Yeah. Beetlejuice two is lacking that Completely. it has a little bit of it 
the best scene is when Beetlejuice is sitting the couple down, Lydia and the, the douchebag, and he's pretending to be the psychiatrist and says, I want you to do to open up. All right. And they're refusing to do so. And he says, all right, I'll start first. I'll spill my guts. And he literally yeah, yeah, yeah. spills yeah. his guts out. Guts. Best moment in the oh, in 100%. The film. Yeah. And then he impregnates her with his Beetlejuice baby. <laughs> yeah. And practical, grotesque. Bit. That's the kind of stuff that the movie needed more of. Right. Right. And a little bit more of crude humor from Beetlejuice. Yeah. yeah, I mean, well, in the original yeah, Beetlejuice, he, he was kind yep. of, uh, I mean, he was obviously very misogynistic. Uh, and I guess you He's can't have that in 2024. He's a straight up pervert in the, in the <laughs> I mean, original yeah. film. I, I, like, as if up perverts dresses. don't exist now. Yeah. Isn't he like touching Gina Davis yeah, a lot? Yeah. 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 He's mm -hmm. always like try. he tries to like kiss her and stuff, and she's like pushing yeah. off him. Yeah. He's all over her. He doesn't do anything like, with a Monona Rider in the second. Yeah. No, not really. But he's trying to marry her in he's the just first stuck one. On in the original her script, in both he right. went further in the original script. Like he, <laughs> they they toned <laughs> it. They actually toned it down in the original film. How much he goes after Lydia in the yeah. first so, one? In the original, yeah. Wow. I mean, we got a surprise appearance in the chat. Hey, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> These cucks right here. Yeah. <laughs> Hope you're doing well, man. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, uh, what what did Bobby say in his review of this movie? If you liked it, you're a cuck. <laughs> <laughs> what is this like every review though? <laughs> that's the theme now. That's the that's your that's your brand. Yeah, yeah. kind of stuck with that. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, ever since uh, the Marvels, right? Is that when you first busted that out? The cucking? No, our very first review was a picture of Michael Myers' head, and it just said "cucked" on the thumbnail. Uh, uh, Halloween, Halloween there. ends. Yeah. That was our. Oh gosh, movie. that movie! Let's not talk about that movie. <laughs> Lord. Yeah, no, that's been our thing since the very beginning. Yeah. yeah. Consistent. Yeah, consistency is the key. Unlike Beetlejuice too. Yeah. Yeah, I mean the the plot line was completely all over the place. The like the actors just were phoning it in. Uh, I think oh, Michael yeah. Keaton was doing pretty good, but his okay. material was was mitigated. He did fine I would with the say. material he was given, but he yeah. was right. definitely shackled. And there was not not enough of him. Like in a yes. sequel, I would have expected. So like I, I watched them back to back. So in the sequel, I would like to have seen it be more about Beetlejuice than about the people, just to like get more of the character. He's like such a such an interesting guy. But um, you know, he's and, not and, in the first one a ton. I mean, he doesn't come no. to the movie until a while in. A while in, yeah, exactly. Um, so. Which again, I think in this one he does also stay out yeah, a bit for, for a while. Shows up. Right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Except the everything that's going on is just not as good as what was going on in the first forty-five minutes right. of the original. Mm -hmm. So right. And I noticed one slight little detail. You know how in the original movie uh, they built that like weird deck with the just the wall. Yeah. That wasn't in this house now in oh, the it sequel. Removed. It was removed. So it was like mm -hmm. what. I don't know, but maybe I'm too OCD for. I was like, what? What the hell happened to that? Because they they did this like weird deck thing with. Uh, um, fuck, I keep forgetting the guy that got canceled, Je Jeffrey, Jeffrey Jones. Jeffrey Jones. Yeah, Jeffrey Jones. Uh, like you know, chilling on that deck, but. Um, I don't. I wouldn't. Yeah. I wouldn't categorize him as getting canceled. He yeah. he went to prison he, for a very specific. <laughs> thing. It, was it, it wasn't. It wasn't uncalled for. Yeah, right, 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 right. Being canceled has a connotation that uh, yeah. it, it wasn't warranted. That's yeah, that, that was definitely warranted. In, in his uh, case, it was. Yeah. yeah. Pop culture prosecution versus judicial <laughs> versus yeah. actual Which is crimes. such a shame yeah. because I really liked his character in Deadwood. And, you know, he came oh, back so for the movie. That. He was yeah. in the, you know, the last one, the movie that they did. Yeah, I'm surprised they brought him back, but he was also in uh, the Devil's Advocate, right? I want to say. Remember, it's been a while since I've is seen that, that with one. Al Pacino. Yeah, yeah, Al Pacino, Keanu yeah, Reeves. I don't remember. Uh, You're the devil. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Kyle, you have got like some very good voice. <laughs> like you did Beetlejuice quite well. Oh, thanks. I, if I showed you the bad ones that I've done to my wife, she would, uh, yeah, that it, it's pretty bad. I think I did like a, sometimes I try to do a walk-in impression, 
who was apparently approached to do the Willem Dafoe character in Beetlejuice 2. So a little connection there. I, I really have to lean into that and get used to, you know, doing a walk-in. But yeah, thank you. Anyway, long-winded yeah. response there. <laughs> <laughs>